Hello, chilly guys here. Hello. This is a lemon. Okay, before I start, if anything shows up on this camera which isn't part of this thing that I'm going to be doing now, it's because it's an old tape and sometimes the old stuff seeps through and we get disturbance and stuff. Aphid spray. Oh, you're disturbed enough. Aphid spray number two. A lemon uh, thing. You probably have one of these lying around in your kitchen. If not, you can get them from your local store, probably, I'm guessing. And just... Basically, I read this online, by the way. I've been going through loads and loads and loads of aphid stuff, and they seem to just, like... Some of them harm the plants. I made one which, like, made my leaves go all brown and stuff. Um, which was not good. Um, now you could probably do this tidier than me, because I'm not a very tidy person. Maybe I should do it on a, on a plate and a bowl, so then if any stuff comes off, and just catch it in the on the plate as well. Now, this is a, quite a long process to get the skin a lemon. Great lemon. I'll tell you what though, the smell is really nice. And that's another thing that I'm going to point out while I'm doing this, is that I made other sprays with garlic um, and things like that, that nature. And the smell is not that great. And you've got a garlic smell through the air. But this acts like sort of like an air freshener. It's very zesty. And um I don't think the lemon's too happy about it, but you know. Okay. Now obviously you can skip me going to the next bit if you like. Well we'll stop now and come back to you. And see you in a minute. Welcome back. This is now the lemon. Try and get as much of the stuff as possible. Now, the thing I've seen online um, said to grate it and then put the grated stuff in there, but I'm gonna just also cut it in half and add a bit of the acid into it as well. Not too much. Drizzle it. It's a very nice smell. It's a bit of taste nice as well. For now. Okay. You forgot. You need to have some sort of um, container for it. Which I nearly forgot about it. Um, for like a certain amount that you're going to put in, so depending on how much you're going to use for this spray, you need, let's say, you're going to make a cup full or something like that. Like this, for example, if you're going to make that much, you need to fill that up with water, add it to the saucepan. Um, now, I haven't gone and got anything to add it to yet, because I'm silly. So, for now, I'll just use a jug and make an estimate on a certain amount. I'm going to say about 400 mil, maybe less. Depends how much this fills up in here. Alright, so probably about 200, 200 mil. This won't taste nice. A plop of that. That, act, that affects the chilies, the aphids directly, as we said, it used before, and it also acts as a surfactant 
which just means it can make, allows oils and waters to mix, as you know from washing up. And the acid from the skin um, apparently puts them into a seizure. And while well, the washing up liquid also help block up their breathing system. It's quite weird though when you spray it on them because uh, they don't look like they're going anywhere. Like if you get like certain bug sprays and you spray the aphids, they all fall off the leaves and then they're all dead on the bottom. But you spray this stuff on them and you go back to their leaf and you're like, oh, they're still there. But then they don't move. They just seem to be like they've had a heart attack or something and stayed in that position. Not moved at all. Now I boil. It's not looking very appetizing with a big green dollop in it. Okay, right, that's boiled now. Um, it's still on the simmer. Whilst it's still on the simmer, um, I didn't put any. You cut. You could, if you didn't want to lose any of the fluid, put um, a thingy over the top. But I didn't roll with that. Likely somebody's going to walk through here, even though I told them not to. Now this is um, lime juice um, with chili in it. Now, on my other one, I just added this stuff, which is chili powder. And I only added a small amount of that. But this one I'm going to add some pre-made lime juice with chilli in, which I use to make my own pepper spray. Don't ask. The chilli was um, from a concentrate, so... I'm not going to add much. I'll probably add about that much. Yeah, the citric acid in lime and lemon seems to help the uh, capsaicin dissolve well, and it acts as an extra repellent to aphids. No, so really don't before like I put that in there, actually, thinking about it. If I, if I were to pour that straight into that plastic bottle, it would melt it. Yes. Either. So I'm just going to pour I'll it. do it over the sink, if you don't want to burn yourself. It shouldn't, should it? Depends how accurate you are. Could strain it to get rid of all the... Uh, I'm going to leave it in there. But you can, if you're careful, keep it in there. A few will go through, but... Mmm, smells nice. No, Mark will eat it after. Despite the fact that it's got... <laughs> soap. And chili in it. Although probably chili will probably encourage him to eat it. And um, they, they, on the video it says to leave those things and that to stand for 24 hours. I don't know, I should add those to that now. And leave it for 24 hours. Or just leave it for a while. I might do. That's what it says on the thingy. But when you make the... When you finally put it into the bottle, make sure you use something like this to try and get all the bits out, otherwise they get stuck in the tubing and it breaks the spray bowl, which has happened to two of mine already. So yeah, that's, that's that. Um, in regards to the plants, uh, I'll make a separate video. Um, they're a bit all over the place at the moment. There's some is, and some, some here. Some of them aren't doing anything at all. It's the weather's like, I'm raining, I'm sunny, I'm raining, I'm sunny. Windy, windy. Yeah, and things falling over like my grow houses and stuff. I'll get to that in another video. But until then, goodbye. Bye.